This is Frank DeMora with the End Times Research Ministry giving you some more news for February the 1st, 2013 before we go into the weekend. And of course yesterday, or today, earlier today, I made a video talking to you about the earthquakes and my red flag that I put up a few days ago warning you to look for uh, these huge earthquakes. And now we're going to continue on with that. But bef before I do that, I want to get into even more reports about the birds, fish, and the animals dying, of which I also gave to you a couple days ago. And it seems like this uh, the sign that you see in the scriptures here, let me go right down to it. If you're new to Bible prophecy, uh, you'll be able to uh, go to my site. Once you get to my site, you see this yellow right here. And if you want to get to my complete list, just go to Google and type in where you see the yellow, yellow here, and it'll take you, uh, it'll bring you to the link that has all of the information that I have in my book since 2009 concerning the fish and the animals uh, and the birds dying. Now, as of yesterday, uh, this, the information I'm giving you now is information that I did not give to you the other day. And this just popped up. And this starts off with January 30th. So let me go right down to the articles. We'll pull those up for you. And here's the first one. It's coming out. Uh, this says Wall Africa here. And in this particular one, I'll let you go to my site. You can read all about it. But here's the bottom line. There's a total of 9,272 cattle deaths that were reported in the Providence in just over a month since December the 20th, 2012, due to the effects of drought. Now, when you read the scriptures, you're going to find out that this is another sign that the Lord told us to watch for. We see it in the book of Revelation. We see the byproduct of the, the drought affecting the Euphrates River when the intense sun, as we see also in the book of Revelation, being poured down and scorching on this earth and men. And as the water dries up, and we see the drought, and because of the droughts, we also see the Euphrates River drying up that will give way to an army to the east of 200 million men, which there's already an army to the east, remembering that. So we see that the animal deaths here caused uh, in part because of the drought, we have actually two prophecies being fulfilled in this one article. Now it does give you some other information about uh, where these cattle are dying and the statistics about the deaths in the areas that they're uh, dying in, but I'll let you go to that. So let's go to the next one now. And as you can see here, this is a, uh, again, this is news that came out, let me scroll up here, on the 30th that I didn't give to you the other day. Investigation, we'll see whether the dead fish spilled over the dam. And what you're seeing here is, is pictures that were taken uh, by one of the residents you see here. And there's just hundreds and hundreds of dead fish that have shown up again in another area. So we're, we're seeing this news coming faster and faster now. Just like the birth pangs. Uh, that the Lord showed us that was going to be coming. Now here's another one of those pages that were uh, translated and it has to do with the uh, this alcohol plant. 400 tons of raw materials, leak pollution, fishermen uh, that obviously killed off these uh, the fish. And of course what we do know is as the planet gets more polluted we're going to see uh, more of this information, uh, more of the fish dying off in the, the animals that live in the sea. And this is what this article is talking about. So you could read the whole article at your leisure, but I'm just giving you the information very, very quickly. Now here's one on January 31st. This was yesterday. And uh, again, we have, I'm going to go right to the meat of the material here. It says the river dropped three meters in a matter of weeks. And then this started happening. There was hundreds and hundreds of dead perch floating around, floating around and up down the river, wherever you looked. 
Now the state water says it is normal for fish to die when it is hot and the water is lower. Now Mr. Martin says that the Darling River is green and smelly and has not been this bad for years. Now Mark 13, 8 talks about the birth pains. And we're seeing every one of the signs that are being reported that people know that they're in the Bible. These things are happening faster, and these are the signs of the birth pangs. Now, again, the low water. Why we have the low water? Well, you've got the drought. So all of these things are tied in together. But we're, we're seeing, again, hundreds and hundreds of fish that are dying off. And this is only one of many, many articles that shows us that something is majorly wrong. But they're definitely signs uh, of the Lord coming back. This is what he told us to look for. Now here's one that says, birds washed up on the south coast. Let me go scroll down a little bit for you. It says, hundreds of birds have been washed up along the south coast, covering an unidentified creamy, waxy substance. So again, uh, more problems. And uh, look, if, if you had the time to go through every list that I have put up there for you, I'm sure that you're going to be blown away by what you see. And I would expect you to get blown away because the list is getting larger and larger. And we're seeing birds and fish and animals die off at larger numbers. And again, this is the warning from Jesus Christ. This is what we see in the Bible. Now here's another one. Thousands of dead fish, an unbelievable mystery. This is February 1st, 2013. This is today. Scenes like we've been repeating uh, over and over again. And uh, this story will give you all the different information that you need to get. And it says, every type of fish, he said, lots of baby fish, lots of small cod, dying. The Lord told us, and if you don't believe it, then that's between you and him. But it's here. All of the signs are here. Now let me go back to my prophecy site. And uh, we're going to scroll down here. Because I want to get now into another prophecy, and this has to do with earthquakes. Now, yesterday I gave you a video, and I brought you back to my warning. I believe it was on the 29th of this month, only three or four days ago. So the 29th, 30th, the 31st, and so two, three days. Now, three days ago. I had the impression from the Lord that I had to put up the red flag, which I did, in that, and I told you in that video that you're going to see some huge quakes shortly. Now, there were huge quakes. Now, let me show you, let me go to my book, and because in my book that I outline what's been going on with the earthquakes, and I showed you this in my video yesterday, or maybe even uh, today. I, I've made so many videos, it's hard to keep up. But I definitely showed you what was going on uh, up until this point, which would have brought us to January 31st. Now today, earthquakes, now I did report about this earthquake and uh, the earthquakes that were in effect in the Solomon Islands, all right? So all of these quakes that are in black now are February 1st, 2013. That's when I put up my video and I said, look what's happened. We've had four major earthquakes in one day. Well, after I went to the hospital and I came back and I had a chance to check the news, I found out that there was even more earthquakes that happened. And let me go to this. Now, this is, you'll see the USGS site, the government site that gives us information about the earthquakes. And look at this, a 6.7 and a 6.0 at in the Santa Cruz Islands today, along with those other four. So we've had, now take a look at the list here. We've had one, two, three, four, 
of five, six major earthquakes since I put up the red flag just two and a half days ago. Now, all I can tell you is this. The Lord has given us instructions, and in those instructions, he told us to look for earthquakes. In Luke 21, 11, he gives us instructions to watch for what? The great earthquakes. So we are definitely seeing the many earthquakes. And if I went back to this earthquake site right here and showed you how many earthquakes have happened in the last seven days, there's another one in Kazakhstan, the six point. Now these are good size earthquakes. When you get into the six range, you're getting into some powerful earthquakes and then they're getting bigger and bigger. So uh, the, the prophecy concerning watching the many quakes, they're here. And you're going to see more activity as we get closer to the seven-year tribulation. That's a given. So again, I'm just warning you that the signs that the Lord told us to look for are all here. They're speeding up, just like the woman in birth pangs in Mark 13, 8, like the Lord said. Now, in closing for today and for this weekend, let me just make this statement for the new people who just found my website or the YouTube site. Please take uh, my invitation to go to my site and click the red link right here and it will download my book that I've been putting together for the last 36 years. And you'll see that it's up to date February the 1st, 2013. This book will come to you free, no charge, and um, please, when you get to my site, go to uh, my new site, which you'll see here at this link when you get over to my, uh, my prophecy site. Click this link right here. It will take you to my new site, and you can subscribe to get my daily prophecy updates, and you'll be able to click the link there as well to get the, uh, the book for free. So there you have it. Don't be nervous about the last days if you know Jesus Christ and you're abiding in Jesus Christ. You're living your life just like the early church lived their life. If you're that kind of Christian, you have nothing to fear. Nothing at all. Because the Lord promised, and that's what we're looking for. That's why he gave us all of these signs. And that's why I wrote the book to show you that everything that he said is here. Only a few prophecies that haven't been fulfilled yet. And so, knowing this, knowing that you're living your life according to how God wants you to live, you have nothing to worry about. Because the Lord's promised that he's going to come for us. He went away and he's preparing a place for us. And he promised that he was going to come back again and take us away. And when he does take us away, the seven-year tribulation begins. Now, if you're outside the will of the Lord, you have a lot to fear because you're living on borrowed time. And if the Lord were to come back today or tomorrow and you don't know the Lord, you haven't received him as your personal savior, guess what? You're going to be cast in the great tribulation. You're going to be cast in the seven-year tribulation. And that's a place you do not want to be. So, knowing that the Lord is showing us all of these things, and they're all happening in one generation. I have somebody that writes to me almost every single day and tries to refute what I'm saying. And all I can say to this young person, whoever it is, is you show me another generation where every one of these prophecies have taken place all in the single generation. Very, very specific prophecies. You don't have a case because the case is, this is the only generation, our generation, who has seen every prophecy that the Lord warned about in one generation come to pass. Except for the Psalm 83 war, the Ezekiel war, the rapture of the church, and the seven-year tribulation. And we see that the, those two wars are coming up sooner than most people think. And by the way... Those wars are also in my book as well to show you the signs of those coming, that war, and those wars being fulfilled shortly. So, 
In closing, let me just give you an invitation to receive Jesus Christ. Today would be a good day for the day where you can receive Christ as your Savior. You Just ask Him. Ask Him to save you. Tell Him you want Him to be your Lord and your Savior. Tell Him you believe. But more than believing, you accept Him as the Messiah. You believe that He resurrected just like He said He was going to do in John 2.19 when He said, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. And he did just that. Believe it, accept it, and tell the Lord you're sorry for your sins and ask him to wipe all those sins away by the blood of the Lamb, his blood on the cross that he shed for you and myself and anyone in the world who wants freedom in Christ, freedom from sin, because he washed us away. And every time we do fall, the Lord is quick to forgive us and erase what we have done wrong. But you have to have repentance, and repentance starts with a pure heart for Christ. Today would be a good day to have that soul that's been soiled by Satan, by the, the sin that has been inherited from Adam and Eve, what they did in that garden. It could be wiped away today you can have a new heart and a new life in Christ. He's waiting for you. Just ask him to come, and he will. This is Frank DeMora, reporting from the End Times Research Ministry, saying, God bless, and thank you for allowing me to come into your home this way.